Well, we didn't get a very good video from the tarping of the hay. It took all hands on deck to try to wrestle that thing on there. The wind came up before we were done and it was about to sail us from the haystack over to the hay barn. Anyway, we got it on there. Hopefully that does some good. I'm about 50-50 whether I like how it turned out, but it's up there. And uh, currently we are loading the truck to head to Las Vegas and get on an airplane. We're gonna go to Florida, mess with some cattle, visit some family, take care of some things down there. So come on, we're headed out on another fun trip. Let's go. Ready, mama? Sorry. She's going back to her homeland. Oh! <laughs> Get in, let's go. So Sissy's been to California, to Disney and all that with her friends for like a week. Sissy! They dropped her off a little while ago here at the airport. Daddy! Now she's jumping in with us for the Florida trip. Roxy! Lara went to go get our bags all checked in. I've got my junior crew corralled up here in the corner waiting on her. It's been a minute. We already tried out this money machine, didn't we guys? Hey Rigi, about ready to get on that airplane yet? It's taking a long time, huh? She knows where she's going. Climb aboard or you'll be left behind. Hurry. This train is leaving in five, four. Her shoes. It's 12.30 a.m. We've finally arrived in Orlando. One of them's lost their pants. <laughs> luckily, it's a little one. <laughs> luckily, luckily, it's a little one. Sissy, you're in charge of them. We got here to the ranch at three o'clock this morning. Got to work and it don't take me long to get into trouble. Stuck in the mud. John Deere 4240. 
bush hog mower I just started the second pass and we're stuck got a couple ideas let's see if we can get this thing out of here come on we're not terribly stuck part of the problem we're going through a little bit of a ditch here and the mower isn't working properly i need to be able to lift that up when i go through these dishes and the hydraulic ram is spewing out fluid not lifting the mower so now i'm hung up in this ditch spun out not that bad but i'm stuck no four-wheel drive that's not an option here so it's not the most stuck tractor in the world but right now it's going nowhere and i gotta wait for help My rescue party is arriving. Uncle Justin's here to save the day. I'm just having me a seat in the shade here. You, you here to rescue me? Yeah, I am. All right. What are we gonna try first? Maybe, maybe try chaining up to it and tugging on it. It isn't very stuck, really. Pop it loose just a little. It might come. All uh, right, back, back up to it. We'll try that first. Then I got some other ideas that came off the internet, some YouTube ideas. <laughs> All right, we're going to try the easy way first. Going to chain Uncle Justin up to the front of the tractor, give it a little tug. It isn't that stuck, so this might work. If it doesn't, YouTube's got some other ideas that work for everybody else. We'll see how that goes. All right, hopefully the easy way works here. You want to hold the camera or the chain? Uh, I'll hold the camera. Oh. Got to do a good job. This is Frank Fran Ranch YouTube. This is a professional show. We don't mess around here, right? All right. But now we got to get this thing unstuck because everybody else on YouTube got their tractor unstuck. Also, YouTube said, don't ever chain to a ball. They said them come off all the time and kill everybody. Okay, so what do we need to do? Chain to something. I don't know what to do. Maybe. Right, to that. That might work. Broke a link. That's what gets people killed. All right, we're gonna try a different idea. You got a chainsaw? Justin was over here, we're gonna shut that tractor off so we can go get some pieces we need. The snake come after him. Luckily, I grabbed a shovel out of the truck and saved his life. Did that get your heart rate going? A little bit. All right, I'm gonna show you what we got here. Ooh, and he's not happy. That is a pygmy rattler. Oh, man. And they usually run in pairs. They're a poisonous rattlesnake oh i don't like snakes at all and uh they don't rattle at you like a real rattlesnake out west or whatever they got a little old button thing on their tail but it don't make no noise they don't get very big do they that's what they, they call don't. a pygmy yeah all right you hold him down with that shovel and hold on to this okay. and i'll go get a real shovel and we'll chop him up all right Where's his head? You got his head in the picture, you ready? Yeah. All right, now you let him go with yours. Ooh. That is a pygmy rattler. Zoom in on that little thing on his tail. 
See, it's kind of like the rattle on a real rattlesnake, but it never makes any noise, does it? No, nope, it doesn't. So he'll sneak up on you and bite you. And he's twice as poisonous. It's called taking the head off the snake. Yeah. Well, now we know what's out here in the grass, we're gonna play around in it some more. Viral YouTube videos are showing guys chaining logs to stuck tractors and getting them out. One guy even chopped it down with a hatchet. I got here at three o'clock this morning, puked my guts out on the side of the highway in Orlando last night. Left Tickaboo Valley, Nevada yesterday. I'm not that ambitious, so we're gonna try the Echo brand chainsaw here. It's over with. Now the hard now part's taking it over there. <laughs> figure out how to chain it to that tractor. Yeah. Damn. Think this is gonna work? Here, you can leave that one there for now. We might not need it. Okay. Or we might need it. Yeah. Okay. Should we try to this outside tire or should we try to that inside? I think I'm gonna to go to the inside one. Whichever one you think, I'm not sure. Because you watched the video. Remember there's more of them snakes in here somewhere. Yep, we're gonna keep our eye out. So we've somehow got to chain it to there. Yeah, I'm gonna loop the chain through those holes. Okay. Chain that to that and give it a try. If it doesn't work, then YouTube lied to us. <laughs> you hear that thunder? That's yep. only gonna make our mud hole worse. We gotta get that thing out of here before that rains on it. What do you need me to do? Coach me here. Perfect. Now, what's that going to do? I know how to find out. Let's try it. Try it. And that's the only one way to try it.
went there and then just stopped. Yeah. Uh, we'll try the other one. Oh, this one shouldn't break. No. <laughs> it's a little stouter than the other one. You grab that rope that we brought? Yeah, it's in the back of the truck. One good thing about having team roping, roping addicts in the family, there's always plenty of leftover heel ropes to tie junk up with. Started digging until it tightened, it really tightened up. The chain, I think it will do it. So, from all the viral and successful tractor unstuck videos that I watched on YouTube, there's a couple of differences. One, all the tractors were smaller than this. Yeah. Another difference, none of them had an implement hooked to the back of it. So if we're successful, we'll have the biggest tractor that I've seen on the YouTube videos get out of there. Because the ones I saw were all kind of small yard small tractors. tractors. Yeah. But we'll keep trying. Yeah. There's the famous Cody's Corner. We rounded up another chain. We're gonna go back, chain that one log on. Give it a as far as I can guess, something's gotta give. Either log's gonna break, chain's gonna break, transmission's gonna break, or the tractor's gonna crawl out of that ditch. So we'll see which one of those it is. Hopefully, tractor out of the ditch. Because it looks like it's about to rain. Might fill that ditch up with water before we get out of there. Some of our orange hammock cows. 
was right up in the horse pasture. There is a rainstorm coming. Dang it. We didn't hurry fast enough, Justin. Yeah, we didn't. <laughs> This tire hooked this log up to so he can have a little This isn't really going that great. In fact, there's a realistic chance it's never gonna work. But there's one rule, never ever give up. Um, what we've got here is a really big log. That sucker's too heavy, I'm giving out. I can't even carry it over there. I'm gonna have Justin back his truck over here, we'll tie it on, drag it around by the tractor. We've got a bunch of these small logs that we cut, packed down in that hole. I'm going to try to get this big log chained to the far tractor tire. We've got a good stout one chained to this right hand side. So if we've got two logs that won't break, we get a bunch of wood packed down in that hole down below. Maybe something will work. I don't know. It's not honestly going that great. Yeah. Well, I got good luck. I forgot I had this one water up here. <laughs> Phone a friend. That's our next option. 
Yep. Got any friends to phone? I do. I'll have to get a hold of uh, David Clegg. Well, everybody, there you have it. The famous viral YouTube trick that didn't work. I'm not saying it hasn't worked for somebody, but I think it's for uh, smaller tractors. Having this batwing mower hung up on the ground behind us isn't helping. Anyway, it didn't work for us. We're going to the phone a friend option, which I hate to do. I feel like every time I come to town, I just beg, borrow, bum, break, and then bust out. So I, I hate to call, but Uncle Justin just called the neighbor with the sod farm. He's got good tractors, and uh, we're going to beg him to please come get us out of this one. rained there for a second and then when the sun came out a bunch of bees showed up with it there's a look at that hole i don't know if you can see how far down in that goes but it's dug a heck of a hole no bottom to it that just didn't work in that flagler county gumbo I think I've got too much log sticking out the front over here. I had to lift that tractor four feet in the air if it did take hold. Riaz unlocking the gate. Jake with his skid steer. I'm try to tug on it and see if we can get it out. See if we have the right one. What a thick trees. There's a turn off that goes to a lake over there. Stop right here. Stop. Stop. Usually there's water in this creek. It's a little bit dry right now. New truck. But the guy who we bought it from, his company, they washed and waxed it every week. They kept it in a garage every single night. It's only been driven to and from the job. It didn't haul anything, nothing. Brand new transmission. I can tell you a secret about this little baby show.
trees. So we're trying to get those. They're not very good weed or food for cows. his Kubota skid steer. I don't know. I don't know. I'm giving this a 50-50 shot. Nothing else has worked. We're going to hook the Kubota on and give it a little tug. Maybe we could use the forks on the Kubota to lift up and unhook the mower. If we get that mower unhooked, maybe we can pull the tractor out and then swing the mower around and hook it back up. I don't know. Try and see. Maybe junk that needs mowed out of this pasture. We've got pine saplings, cabbages popping up, myrtle, myrtle bush popping up here. There's a snake. Mother down. Dead snake in the wall. Must have got chopped up. Chandy. We got a video of the snake killing. I even tried cutting a bunch of logs and putting it down in there, they would just dig those out. So, we can try tugging on it. I don't know if that's gonna work. Do you think this thing can lift that back tire at all? Like where we can lift it up and throw a bunch of my logs under it? Maybe drive right out? What do you wanna try first, lifting or pulling? After all the crazy stuff we've tried, this is an idea that I really do think will work. We've got these pine trees sawed up into like firewood sized chunks. We're going to throw those down in the hole, set this tractor tire back down on it, and it'll basically be on flat ground. Then we can pull it backwards right on out of here. Is there more? Is that everything that's cut? That's everything that's cut. Call Justin and tell him to bring his chainsaw back. That worked out pretty well. Can we need to do the other side though?
So the real secret to success here was the fact that this Kubota skid steer was able to lift those tires up out of the mud. Uncle Jake, thanks for the rescue, buddy.